What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Graxy TV. We're about two weeks into Hero Siege 2 Season 2. It's a lot of twos. And a lot of players are starting to feel the overwhelming amount of loot from Satanic Zones. Because of this, more players are quitting their season a little bit early compared to previous seasons. While I completely understand their reasoning for this, I wanted to shed some light on an alternative gameplay experience a lot of players are unaware of, or they just don't know what's different about it. If you enjoy Hero Siege 2 content, be sure to like and subscribe for future videos. Let's jump in. You may have seen people talk about Solo Self, found odyssey or have ssf as part of their in-game name like i do this is because we're playing a game mode called odyssey simply put odyssey is a solo self found game mode where you cannot engage with other players through trading or griefing it is you versus the game to create a character in odyssey simply click an empty slot box click on the character that you want to create give it a name click on odyssey on the bottom left here You'll see this new pop-up comes up. Odyssey heroes can only play solo, market, trading, and mailbox are disabled. You can also do hardcore Odyssey for you crazy people out there. And if you want to be seasonal or non-seasonal. Go ahead and hit create, and you'll see that your character has this new chain white green border. Uh, that shows that you are now in Odyssey. To make this game mode a bit more appealing, players have 200% magic find and 75% gold find starting at level 1. Keep in mind you cannot migrate from Odyssey to trade at any point. This is due to those buffs that you get starting at level 1. It would be a huge advantage if I could start my season with those buffs and then just move after a couple of days. So again, you cannot do this. For this next section, I do want to go through some benefits of Solo Cellfound and Odyssey. Understand this is completely relative and really it's just my opinion. Some players might look at these and say, you know, I see that more as a con than a benefit. I completely understand that. At the end of the day, it's really about just having fun. The first pro being that the overall progression in Odyssey is much slower than trade. You simply can't just go in the auction house and get an item that you need or trade with a buddy in your group. And say you do drop some items, maybe they're not for your character and you would have to go re-level another character to be able to use those items. There's no power leveling. You have to do it yourself. Now, I'm sure everybody has different goals in SSF, but ultimately, the slower character and gameplay progression is going to make it harder to achieve those goals. For example, maybe you want to go and kill Uber Reaper on Hell 5. Well, you can't simply just type in Global Chat, I have a Hell 5 Reaper, somebody come in and help me kill it, I need a carry. You have to go and physically do that content yourself. And in the current state of the game, there's only so many classes that you can do that on minimal budget. So you're going to need to play the game a pretty good amount of time to be able to get a character that's able to complete that content. One of the absolute best parts about Odyssey is actually finding loot. And I know a lot of you in trade are probably like, wait, 500 loot zones, you're going to drop pretty much everything that you want eventually. And that is true. Eventually, you probably will drop everything that you want, even in an Odyssey setting. But one thing you're not understanding is that it is much slower to be able to do that because you do not have a four man party of people coming in with keys. You have to go farm those keys yourself, as well as if you say the group runs out of keys and you're just running the zone, it takes longer to run a zone than it does with four people. Right. So you're not going to get nearly the amount of loot that somebody in trade league will get. The other thing you're, you have to understand is when I do drop loot, I'm not just selling that for in-game currency that I can use to go buy other things. I have to drop items that are for builds that I'm either going to play or that I can play. So I have to find combinations of items for characters that I can play to progress through the game up, up to Hell 5 and be able to do Hell 5 content. So dropping loot is so, so fun, especially the Angelics. It, guys, it took me six days to get my first angelic. I feel like that was pretty unlucky, but that just goes to show you, some people are finding five or six angelics a day. As for right now, I'm lucky to get maybe one or two if I really played a lot that day. And this really extends into bossing. You have to imagine being by yourself, you can't rely on three other players to help run through zones to find chaos towers or shadow realms or eternal battlefields. You have to find all of those things yourself. And a big one is the Uber Damien. You can't have a split party going for bosses. You have to do all those bosses on your own. And then when you finally do get to those bosses and you kill them there's only a chance that you're gonna get some of the items that you want from it I have to think about how much more uh, rewarding it's going to feel when you do finally get that torch that you need or you do finally get that item from a, a, a cool that you need or whatever it may be one tip that I actually pulled from path of exile that applies to this game as well playing in Odyssey will make you a better trade player because you have to learn strategies to gear up your character that 
it will allow you to defeat content on smaller budgets that you can get away with not doing in trade because you have currency to go and buy items that you wouldn't have access to in solo cell found. The biggest quality of life to Odyssey is that you don't have to trade. You're not price checking items or keeping up to date on the what an item is worth. Nor are you subjected to market inflation or game breaking bugs that ultimately just ruin your trade experience. It kind of sucks that I have to make this point, but players in SSF are generally a bit more communicative than players in trade. And I feel like a big reason for this is because if somebody comes up with a build that they're playing and they start talking about it amongst the community, well, a lot of the items that maybe they're going for now start going up and up and up. And as well as you have price fixers that will buy up all of these items and list them for crazy amounts, making it difficult for players to actually play this build. And more specifically, the person that originally might have tried to make this build and wants to talk about different ways and maybe he can build it amongst the community when people will just take that that idea and put it in Hero Siege Editor, make the build, and then go buy up all the items that this guy eventually would have gotten to by talking to the community. So because the community within Odyssey is a little bit smaller, you can go to the Discord under the Odyssey channel, and a lot of us like to hang out in there. You can ask questions, post pictures of stuff that you find, and it's really, really fun to just kind of see the progression of other players. It was a little bit more difficult for me to come up with downsides because again, I am an SSF player. So I feel that I'm a little bit biased here. But the first one being, if you don't have a decent amount of time to play Odyssey, it may not be in your best interest to go this route because the character and gear progression in SSF is much slower. So you're gonna have to decide if you have the time and if it's worth it for you. There are some builds that it doesn't matter how much time you have, you're just not gonna be able to play some of these builds. They take way too much gear and you can play SSF for two months and not be able to obtain the gear. And even if you do obtain the gear, maybe the rolls on the gear were really bad. So then it's just not gonna even do the damage that you're expecting it to do. So there's just some builds in SSF that you Will never attain. For those of you that like to push wormholes, they are not class specific in solo cell found. So somebody that is playing a butcher and somebody that is playing a shield dancer are battling for the same position, the same rank within the ladder. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully this helped you make a decision on whether Odyssey is for you or not. With my Odyssey, I am doing a Holy Grail challenge where I'm trying to find one of every item in the game. If you're interested in that, I will be making a video on that within the next couple of days. So if you like Hero CC2 content, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you